verse 1. Start with one more. Yes, sir. Then, Pray zero. Pray zero. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 But your time came. Read it through. Was it a young ship? 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 Now you are in Tanya. Nane so crop in yet, Basapa Bab. Nane men and so into Tia Umala Napa Sika and Mapa, Bra, a so, any a home on it, a man no home this year. Nay yet, Sika Hankra, Kamushia. Amen. And then Yako on us, and he will eat a and bra. Let's take it from the English. Uh, Exodus 30 and 1. English. Okay. Exodus 30, first 1. A cubit shall be the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof. First, first square shall it be, and two cubits shall be. First one. First one. Oh, also. And thou shalt make an altar to burn incense upon. To what? Of shit and shit them wood. Stand on thou stand on it. This can start with Verse 1. Verse 1. And thou shalt make an altar to burn incense upon. To burn what? Of ship them wood shall thou make it. So this is what the Most High is saying, that we should make a what? An altar that will burn incense. So in the nation of Israel, uh, there is an incense to be burnt in the nation of Israel. Hallelujah. So this is what they do every Sabbath. When they uh, conjugate, they will conjugate and uh, they will burn incense. Uh, they will do the daily sacrifice in the Sabbath and the Sabbath. But now the daily sacrifice has been dealt with. Hallelujah. Because uh, when you read the book of 1 Corinthians 5 and 7, you will see that the Bible says that, uh, Purge out therefore the old name, that you may be a new land. For Christ our Passover has been slaughtered for us. Hallelujah. So right now, the daily sacrifice, they were killing animals every Sabbath. But in the uh, New Testament law confine, Christ came to save us the lamb that they were killing every Sabbath. So he took away the daily sacrifice. Hallelujah. So right now, in the day of Sabbath, we are not supposed to actually kill bulls and goats and lamb. No. Because Christ is now a Passover lamb. Hallelujah. And then you have to say, what you want to say, and you see, Anna, Yes, she is But somewhere, somebody will ask her that uh, in the nation of Israel, it is true that they burn incense. But God told them to stop incense burning. Why? Let's see Isaiah 1 and 4. Because this nation, uh, 1 and 13, this nation forsake their God and they were moving by their own words. Isaiah 1. And take some. Right, thank you. As you have to talk about verse number 13. For some more cosso, more fat, I had yet. Then I'm more cosso, more sorry, more cosso, more fat, I had yet. I do not mean yet, may she want yet. Was standing for any moment that name. It got a bonbon. We do mean in check a muya name. A muya in shame, come home. Say how, don't shall say. 
So this is what the Bible is saying. Uh, for the Tobias, read uh, the 13 verse for me. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 13. Bring no more feign of uh, oblation, incense and ob 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 abomination into me. The new moons and the Sabbath, the calling of assemblies, I cannot away with. It is iniquity. It is what? It is iniquity. So the Bible, the reason why the monster is saying they should not bring no more oblation, incense is abomination unto him. The new moon and the Sabbath is abomination is because the people were sinning against the monster. They were breaking the laws, commandments, and statutes. One time I was teaching outside and a brother came and said, hey bro, hey, it is no good to burn incense. And I said, bro, stop it. You don't actually know what you're talking about. The reason why the Bible said that is because the people were not going by the Lord's commandment and status. So the Moses said, no, if you continue to sin, bring no more offers. Do not burn the sacrifice. Don't, do not burn the incense to me no more. Why? Because the people are going by their own ways. So the Moses decided to alienate them. And the main reason was it became a burden unto us. It, became, it was a burden. The book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 8. Therefore shall thou save thy enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in anger. So the Moses said we're going to serve our enemies which God sent against us. In anger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things, mm -hmm. and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So this you're reading this whole thing now and see where the most I gonna send all these curses upon us for what? Disobedience. That's right. So even though what you just read in in um, Amos, it was the same thing because um the scripture said we never worship the most in the joyfulness of heart. Right? So the most I um get read forty seven. Forty seven. Mm -hmm. No, we start from forty six. The book of the children between eight and forty six. Mm -hmm. And they shall be and they shall be upon thee a sign and for a wonder. So everybody can see who the poorest people in the family is. Everybody can see who the children of sleep is. They ain't gonna let us until Christ come back. Right? We don't? And upon thy seed forever. For what? Uh, upon thy seed forever. So your children, they owe taxes already. <laughs> Nana can't wait for them to come and pay taxes. Right? And then when they pay tax, who Nana have to pay taxes? Caesar. Nothing changed. Right? Read on. But um, 47 is the key. 47. Because thou hast, thou servest not. The Lord thy God with joyfulness. With what? With joyfulness. So we cannot praise the Heavenly Father or we choose to praise the Heavenly Father. The most I said, make what? Psalms 100. Get Psalms 100. But repeat what I said in the um, tree at the end. If they want to understand. I say, I am a Jewish man. I am a 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 man. I verse <laughs> And they ask for us if you said, I'm so ready, I will need you. If you are finished, I'm so ready, you have to point to your own to them for Amanaya. 
bed in a mind. And Tina Oka said, Am I in fact insensibly a year new moon named Sabatino? And Bahan, you may say, They didn't run some of the shadows. You shall get another point. You see, I will share a year some hundred. You want to read it? Go ahead. Read Lord upon it, that's good. Make a gentle noise to the Lord. So you see what God said? All them. Yes. He said, make what to him? A joyful noise. So some of you sit here and even when they read Amos, he said, we were praying for the Sabbath to open. Eh? So everything wasn't joyous unto the Heavenly Father. So the most I say, you know what? Stop that. Man. Even your, your obligation, your, your Passover lamb, the most I say, make it be unblemished. That's right. You just go there and get the cheapest one. Because you know with the most high you cannot negotiate the price. If you go there and the lamb is for 10 CDs, you can say, hey, hey, I have five CDs. Sure. Not necessarily two for 10 CDs. Exactly. If, if, if they, you go and the price of a lamb is for 10 CDs, 100 CDs, you cannot negotiate what for the most high. But our people was going back. Read again, young man. Stand up and read. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, O you all the land. All the land, all the land of Israel, make a joyful noise. Read. Serve the Lord with gladness. With Come. what? Serve the Lord with gladness. So the most I want you to serve him with gladness. Read. Come into the presence with singing. With what? With singing. Read. With singing. Read. With singing. Read on. No, know that the Lord is, know that the Lord, he is God. So you know that. So go back into Deuteronomy 28 and read 47 and see what the most have a problem with us with the sin. The book of Deuteronomy 28 and 47. Mm -hmm. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with glad, with joyfulness. With what? With joyfulness. So we wasn't serving our power with joyfulness. Read. And with gladness of heart. Read. For the abundance of all things. So most I want you to serve them in the abundance of all things with joyfulness, gladness of heart. So if you're not going to do that, get out of here. That's what God said. Don't even burn the incense. Don't even. He said, when you're calling me, I'm not going to answer you. That's right. Get that. Proverbs 1 26. Book of Proverbs 1 and 26. I also will laugh at your calamity, and I will mock when you when you when your fear cometh. So you see what God said? You're gonna laugh at your calamity. Your property state for you know. God said, I'm gonna mock at it. I'm laughing at it. Why? We you don't. Know? When your fear cometh, I said there's desolation. Desolation, because all this thing come upon us to destroy us. So God said, when this is up on you, I'm going to laugh. Why? Read on. And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. So your destruction cometh quickly. Read. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. So the most I said, when all these things are now, then you brothers in Ghana are going to call upon him. And what will happen? Read. But I will not answer. What God said you're going to do? But I will not answer. So he says not going to answer you. Why? Read on. They shall seek me early. The most I see if I wake up early in the morning, oh God, you might seek him early, man. But what? But he shall not find me. We shall not find him. Why? For they that hate, hate knowledge. They that what? They that hate, hated knowledge. Read. And did not choose the fear of the Lord, they will not of your counsel. So they don't want to take none of God comes and they hate knowledge. We come and tell you who you are. You're the children of Israel. Repent. Come back to the law, status, commandments, and judgment. So the Most High said, you hate knowledge. So when you see all these things happening to you now, the Most High said, what? Don't call him, man. He's not going to be here. Man. But we are. And not choose the fear of the law. They would none of my counsel. So they said, the Most High said, they would not listen to none of his counsel. They despise all my reproof. They, the most I tell it, all to live. 
keep the commandments. Most I say despises reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. So you can eat the fruit of sin. That's who you was present. Explain it in the tree. Make everybody understand it. Send another account. I say we have cooked it up on epic. Say yes or no. I will yard in your name, your common in your name, I will need you, but if you are for no, and yes, sir, and an unknown, a deep, a mankasa, a mong brasso, a four month or more pines, and the abandoned seven young poultry young boy, ever kind old Proverbs one, verse twenty six to seven. And I'm saying, O my no, and dear, I didn't mind some men, I said, yes, and tea, or my never friend, I would then yell him, and I swore no, rather best at all, my no. I say, I brought my no, I bet a winner and then such a moon. Amen. Y'all get that? Then you have to say. So the most I said, you cannot praise the most. That's why I tell you in Revelation. Get that? Look one. The most I say, have something if you look one, man. Like, you're here now. Oh, God, should I be here? Oh, there's money outside to be making. Yeah, that's right. You understand me? So, you know, let me talk to you. Let me tell you what I'm going to talk to you. Let me talk to you. Yeah, you yeah. know. The most I said, how did Either you're being in or you're being out. That's right. The book of Revelations 3 and 15. I know thy works. Thou hast neither cold nor hot. So the most I say, you're neither cold nor hot. I will see what you're doing. You know your works. He see you. You need a cold nor a hot. What's your purpose? Read. I will thou with cold nor hot. Verse 16. So then because thou hast lukewarm. You are lukewarm. Read. And neither cold nor warm or nor hot. I will spew thee out of my mouth. Kick. Get out of here. Get out of here. Somebody else is going to take your seat. If you're not going to do 100% for the moon side. Don't come. Get the white man, you have to eat and work to do, right? When it goes to be at work, you have to get on five days a week, eight hours a day, ten hours a day, man. You can't late for the for the eat and work. Because if you're late, it's a repercussion, right? That's right. Huh? Come. But when you come in and you walk in, oh, it's God's Sabbath and you just come in when you feel like. Oh, you think God looking at you? So the most I say, if you look warm, I'm going to spew you off. Because remember, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Some people in the truth for 20 years are going to miss it on the final length. And some that come in for the last minute are going to make it. And the house shines everybody getting what the same thing. How beautiful is that? So not because I'm there from the 90s, my, I'm going to get two pennies. No. It's the same one penny all of us get to continue and finish this thing. We cannot be moved on. Can? Can. Repeat. Do you have a prison? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The book of Matthew 24 and 18. Mm -hmm. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So can you endure in Luke 1? Like, you cannot endure in Luke 1. No, sir. You have to endure in a full hundred, a positive move. That's right. Right? Explain in the tree if you finish. And the Senate, when you have been on the air can I say Bible say, and I say yeah what you want do. Yeah, we sign yes to dab. I say say yes, sir, yet to me and the radian in name. And they say, Yeah, yeah, well free you and I acquaint I can say you must so maybe you see and none and I can say you might name see I can say you might that to soon so never do me down. You from making me ready. That's how they say about fun. Say ye the tone and ye the ye the ye pair. If you say, "I go point in the beginning one," I don't know. All kind Revelation three and fifteen to sixteen say, "I go point to the end." Consider about about three and a half in the room, about two in actually. 
Messi to see or TFN in one quarter. A band saw a rabbit to him, and you see, or three in us, and you shake the rabbit. The engine rabbit, and the name Nanasi and Pusida. If you say, if you may sing away in Yakutia, it's mighty twenty two, twenty four, best eighteen. See the Okutim, Okusia, see a woman, and a Yabajan, and shake a rabbit in that. It is a Okasa, my baby, my brand now put Lefia. Uh, me a Yenshra, it is a Penshira, and a moment you should have me near Pusia. If you say in Toronto, say, Obin to me, Fan and Sanka, Futun Dadia, no, yes, or Sanichi, a band song for Tira, and in Shaka and Yako Pondina. And today, if you are saying, I want to so, you may find a want to so, and Pusia, Senegaya, even to me, and pay free, in Shaka and Yako Pondina. Amen. Matthew six chapter. The book of Mighty six and one. Take heed that ye do not ye do not sorry, the book of Mighty six and one. Take heed that ye do not your arms before men to be seen of them, otherwise ye have no reward of your father which is in heaven. Um Brother Isaac, what that mean? I say, so who ya do ya? Who ye move men who ye move to Madia? I said, a money pimp. And yes, sir, when you were put together that, the moon ya could take a free yellow chair. I say, Bible Cassa, as a chairman said. Six and one. Take ye that he do not your arms before men to be seen of them. Likewise, he have no reward of your father which is in heaven. Monche ye na munya motene, munya motene, as a monkey, na my motene, any penny. So, I yes, I are. So what it's saying is, take heed that you do not your arms before men. If you're giving somebody something, don't do it for the world to see. So who more be beyond? Men more beyond who they are owing. They may as soon as you wake up, I'm not born. As a man, yes, sir. You understand me? You see a brother up on the street poor, and you think you're giving him something to eat. You don't have to take a phone and take a picture. Look at them do it. As I say, we could hear from maybe now or a hobby man. That's a whole one. I meant for phone. It's a whole chat. Now they have a two social media. So we want to share their name. I'm not going to hear it. Right? Take it from the top again. The book of Matthew 6 and 1. Take ye that ye do not your arms before men to be seen of them. Likewise, otherwise, he have no reward of your father which is in heaven. Because everything what we do is supposed to be reward to get back that reward from the father. So you go and do something like that now. The most I say have no reward you think. He's not paying you for it. You don't do something for people and then they talk about it. Worse than your own nature. Right? Read on. Verse 2. Therefore when thou do what thy arms do not sound a trumpet before yeah, thee. Yeah, look what I'm doing. Right? All the most, because everything is in what? Decency and in God. That's right. And if we want our reward from them, my Father, we have to do what God tells us to do. Come? Come. Read on. Do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues. As the who? As the hypocrites. Do in the synagogue. The word synagogue means what? Gathering. So wherever the hypocrites gather, they used to do, but yo, this is what I do. You understand me? I do that for that brother. I do this for that brother. 
You understand me? I remember a brother overseas died, and we have to come together and get contribution for him. And um, I, I listen to a video, man, and my brother talk about it. We, but we cannot do that because that's what the hypocrite do. And there's no place for the kingdom of God for hypocrites. They said, for instance, Tobias needs a couple of dollars, and he said, Tobias needs a couple of dollars. They don't blow a trumpet up about it. They come here and tell everybody, oh, um, Sister Madig, I gave him two CDs. No. Because whatever brothers do, don't look back for faith. That's right. Look for your reward. God will pay you. Right? Read on. Say it in the tree. 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 And my name is to bend to any day. Selling out in front of you, I wish you a day. And then I get a client so. Selling by ya, I'm being up in the young, I will be paying you. Now, by the sound, I'm going to put you out of Now, by catcher will be said, Oh, we're from a born and a man. If you say, We are from a swap, and the swap. Done, you get it? You get it, my brother? I'll finish up this, you get it? They, they, that they may have glory of men. Verily, I said unto you, they, they have their reward. So it's a hard thing for man to praise in his heart. Because when man, just like people say, oh, look at how small this congregation is. Let Yahweh exalt us, man. Let the Musa exalt us. That man exalt you, what Christ said here, is they get the reward of men. What more reward is man? Right? Read on. Verse 3. But when thou doest alms, let it, let not thou, let hand know what is in thy right do it. So you see that? So when you give alms, don't let your left hand know what your right do. Just listen, brother. Here's the thing. And just keep it moving. Everything is a principle and a way how we should live amongst each other. Read on. You want to explain that thing to you? Sana and Tronic and Best Trail, I've seen tea. Yeah, yeah, Adoya, and my answer, Melkum, and who the answer in front of Ekucha Ayer, and Mansa in Yap and Akutia Dada. Read on. Verse 4. That thy arm, thy arms may be in secret, really? and thy father. Which see it in secret himself shall reward thee openly. So make the most I exalt him. But when you do good, now the scripture says, do good in secret, now the most I will bless you, and the entire earth see your blessing. Huh? I know. How good is that? Now you help a brother or a sister, help a sister, as soon as you have a disagreement, the whole world knows you see it on Facebook, right? Yeah, that's, that's right. Know. Right? Read on. That's fine. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogue and in the corners of the street. So you see now, you praying, when you pray, praying is something intimate between you and God. Who are you praying to when you pray? A lot of people pray to be in sin. But that's something intimate with you and God. Right? Read on. That they may be seen of men. Exactly. You want to pray with man to see where you pray. It's a long prayer and all this stuff to be seen. Oh, this brother, I, he can pray. But who are you really praying to? Right? Read. Verily I said unto you, they, they have the reward. So you see that they have the reward. Because man praising you, that's what you want, right? It's two things. Who you want to praise him? Who you want to reverence you? Who you want to put you up? Is it man or is it the most high in Christ? Trust my brothers. Better Christ lift you up. Make Christ raise you up. Done? Done. Read on. You want to explain? 
Sana entrano e pasani. Asi se ya bon paya. Ama ya yesa ni ya kum fwo. Ali farasi fwo no. O pese ya. Amo pese ya. Amo bon paya. Ali wo shia de yon. Ani. Ali kwan chen. Sana ba ya. O nipi ni na be mwen mwen. Ya ban sa. O mwen yon mwen kutu ya da da. Ani ya brada ya chila se. Ya kam pa ba. En pa bo aye. O ki te mwde ya da wo ni wo bra de ente. And see, I didn't ask him to meet him. No, be a hood, a woman, and never call her. That we were so we are sad. And Sako, I put her. No, be such a man, Chen, you have to say, yeah, I put you. A radiant chain. And I said, you have to say, yeah, I put your feet, a new pension. When it is a visa, we'll be saying. Right, read on. Verse 16. Verse 16. But thou, when thou prayest, Enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut down that, sorry, the book of Matthew six and six, but but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to the Father which is in secret, and the Father which see, which see it in secret shall reward thee openly. So you see, what you always say, so we don't want to pray now. When you pass it, man, shut the room. Who you talking to? You talking to your uh, father, man. You shut it when you pray, man. And then the scripture said, the most I will bless you open. So you have to wonder now why these people in the church not blessing you. Ask yourself a question. You see those people in the Christian church, they pray, they catching tongues and all that. What happened to them? 400 years. Right? Read on, okay? Verse 7. But when he boy gives not vain repetitions as they hate him do, the heathen. So what is vain repetition? Scripture says that prayer don't use vain repetition as the heathen is doing. Nobody knows what the vain repetition is. For they think they, that they sh but when he put use not vain repetition as they hate him do, for they think that they will they shall be heard of their much speaking. So you see that in vain repetition. Oh God, I want Christmas gift. New Year's is next week. Valentine's is February. That's all he can pray. Oh God, bless America. You don't use those vain repetitions as he does. But you see, when you pray, it's all you pray. All you go to the other father. And the most I go and tell you, you can't go to God and say, Oh God, I need a wife. Who the hell are you talking to? Oh God, I need a good job. No. First thing you pray to the Most High, you have to honor Him, man. You have to reverence Him. Oh, Most High power, you is holy. You is true, you is just. Pray correctly. Now, we only learn to pray because the heathen tell us how to pray, man. You can't go to Most High and say, Most High, oh, I don't need a wife. Who are you talking to? And Yahushua is going to tell you how to pray. Read on. Verse 8. Be ye not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things he have need of before he asks. So the most I know what you need. So you don't even have to ask him for nothing. Just give him his reverence. Read on. After this manner, therefore pray ye. So you see, so Yahweh said, No, this is all you're going to pray. Our we Father, this manner, this is all you pray, read. Our Father, and Abba Noah, with doubt in heaven. So you're giving him what, like, oh, my Father, you are in where? The heavens. Read. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed, holy is your name. You see your Christ breaking on prayer? My Father, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Read. Thy kingdom come. Your kingdom will come. Thy will be done here on will earth. Be Done, O Musa, in heart. As it is in heaven. As the righteousness is in heaven, read. 
Give us this day our daily bread. So you're blessing the most high for what? Your daily bread for today. And forgive us our debts. So you're blessing the most high. Bless me for my holy bread today. And forgive me of my debts. As we forgive our debtors. And I will forgive my debtors. And lead us not into temptation. Oh, most high power, don't lead us into temptation. Let me be firm. Let me do right. Don't lead me into wickedness. But deliver us from evil. But deliver me from evil, Yahweh. For thine is the kingdom. For yours is the rulership of the planet Earth. And the power. And the what? All power belongeth to you, Mosai. And the glory. And all glory and honor to you, Mosai. Forever. Forever. Amen. Ah, that's it. See how easy that prayer was? And you see, Christ never said, go pray to win the lottery. He said, my daily bread. Tomorrow you wake up, you say, see it, right? Move side, let me have my daily bread too. Simple, right? That's right. Do you want to explain it? Yeah, you understand, yes. brother Isaac? Do you understand? Okay. I know the English is stressing you out, right? Everybody understand? Yes. You understand, brother? Okay, read on. Verse 14. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. So you have to forgive. You have to learn to forgive. You understand? No malice ain't going to make it to the kingdom of God. You understand? You can check a brother, you can rebuke a brother. You'll forgive your brother. No? That's, that's how you be a man. That's how you be a champion, a warrior. Okay, if you don't forgive man, oh, you expect God to forgive me? You small matters. The most I sit in heaven looking at you, oh, God, forgive me, I sin, forgive. But you can't forgive your brother. That's hypocritical, right? That's right. Right? Read on. <clears throat> Neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. Read 15 again. But if ye forgive, Forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. So you see that? So if you don't forgive men of your trespasses, the most I will not forgive you. So you come unto where? Right? Forgiveness. We cannot act like hooligans no more. We have to act like children of God. So as I say, even if you check and rebuke a brother, rebuke him for him to come back. But the scripture said that one who is more spiritual do what? Will gain your brother. Man. That's right. Right? Read on. Moreover, when he fast, be ye not as a hypocrite of a sad countenance. So, yeah, you fast. Everything the most I want you to do is in secret. Man. And if, you see, Israel was being wicked from general 2,000 years ago. <laughs> but all they used to fast. Read on. For they disfigure their faces. They, that they disfigure their faces. Really? That they may appear unto men to fast. So they want everybody to know, oh, I'm fasting. Oh, I'm afflicting my soul. Look at me, I'm fasting. Really? Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Really? Verse 17. But thou, when thou fastest, Anointing that thy head and wash thy face. So you anoint the head, man, and wash your face, man. You're comfortable fasting. Nobody's supposed to know except you and the news. Some brothers will tell you, oh, I'm fasting, I'm not even brushing my teeth. You see cold in the eyes and everything. Stop it! Fast, you, you, that's between, if you're home, it's different. You do what you do home. But if you're fasting, you don't have to advertise it. You see, I bring it to our face with life. I'm fasting. Three days I'm fasting, bro. So what the God of Christ said you do? You have your reward. They praise what you was looking for, and you get it. Oh, that brother is good at He fasts for three days. You get the reward. So is that reward more better than Christ's reward? Right? Read on. Verse 17. <laughs> But thou, when thou fast, sorry, verse 18, that thy 
that appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father which is in secret. So you see that when you fast, you fast to the most time. We had, if everything is secret. Right? Really? And thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. So God will reward you openly. So you fast in order to be a face of life. Right? You understand? You can spend this and mention to a brother, your wife, your family. Listen, I'm going to fast. Give me a moment. Simple. Right? Read on. Verse 18. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth. Verse 19. Verse 19. Lay not upon yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and wrath doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. So a lot of people lay not treasures upon earth. So the most I say you cannot lay treasures upon earth. You have people, simple treasure. Your house, your car, your wife, your husband. Even a street where brothers teach him, I say, brothers fighting for black in America. Say, this is my black, this, this was my street. Are they jealous and um, they see an ex brother on the street, it's a problem. Now, this is my black, you should teach him. So, you see, that's their treasure. They're building up treasures in the school. But the Bible said we should live like pilgrims in this world. That which I tell us we should go in our nation and teach. As a teacher, keep the move along until we can get her back in Jerusalem. Right? Read on. Verse 20. But lay out for yourself choices in heaven. Where neither more nor wrath do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. So every work that you do, you want that work to be done, to be accepted and rewarded by Christ. Our work should be accepted, acceptable to Him, and make Him reward us. Right? Read on. Verse 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Simple. So if your treasure is in the white man's bank, that's where your heart is. <laughs> your treasure is a couple of dollars and you're here. Um, what, what prominent bank in the uh, One and a commission bank. If you hear it close Monday, you can sit in the cabin and have Tell me a map. And that's where your treasure is. Oh, my life saving you, man. It's in there. All oh, my life saving you. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You come here fainting, asking for prayer. Listen, the kingdom of God is way more than that, brothers and sisters. Build up your treasures in heaven. Think spiritually, act spiritually. This is not folk there and teach and, and do stuff like that. This is about what? Living it. Christ was our example, or he lived his life now. Especially some women, when they don't have money, they have them. Some of you want to tell you, and face them. Right? A broke woman is a hungry woman, right? That's right. But the problem is, life is way more than that. The most I give you a daily bread every day. Huh? Yeah. How much are you ever go to your bed hungry? Yet? How much yeah. are you ever go to your bed without the night dinner? You know, the man here now, you come past what I need to you come there, you all eat before you go to your bed, right? You need some fufu and light soup and... and cool. You eat something before you go to your bed, right? God bless you. Wake up, give him a joyful and happiness for that kind. But I kill you, man, for what our ancestors did to him. Remember, Christ was up there on the cross. Man. It was our people who were saying, give us a man our people. So we could die to kill his son. But he still blesses us. Huh? So we have to build right. We have to build our treasures in the right place today. And have faith. 
right? Read on number. Verse 22. The, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore the eye be, be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Amen. Verse 22. But if the eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. You see that? So one little evil will destroy your entire soul. So the Bible says what? A little level, level the whole room. That's right. So if I sit here with a evil eye, what will become the evil? That's why each one of the checkpoints. We have to be a panel. We have to be balanced. And know that Christ is a friend. You can't get salvation through me. I can lead you to salvation. But it's up to Christ. I can lead you to Christ. I can show you the wisdom that Christ besought in me. But salvation is not. I'm fighting for salvation to Christ. So that's why I said, what? Well, let us fight together. We can do that? We fight everything else together, so why we can't fight salvation together? We are getting it. Right? You know? Verse 24. No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate one and love the other. So you see that? We never come up with the word thing. Christ came up with the word thing. So are we an eight group? Yes. Are we an eight group? Yes. Because we cannot serve two masters. We ate everything that the system stands for. Huh? Okay. We ate everything this world stands for. This world gave you what? Homosexuality? It's not prominent in Ghana yet, but you have sodomites in Ghana. I know you all see them. Because the Bible tells you by the continents you can see them. That's right. It's only a matter of time before they start to come. Mm -hmm. You understand? And remember, Sodom and Gomorrah, the first set of sodomites was African students. Hamites. First set of sodomites. And that's who surrounded the people. So are we an eight group? Yes, we are an eight group. Right? Read that from the top again, brother. Verse 24. No man can serve two masters. So we have to have one master. So you hear people say, Obey the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Obey the Lord. Who's Lord? The Lord, the Lord. Who, who's Lord is it? Listen, we're not going to go here and make mischief. We have problems. You understand? We're not going to go there and do that. But the laws of God come first. You have to remember that. The laws of Christ gave us it come first. We don't believe in homosexuality. We don't believe in decency. We believe in things correctly. In the dark of laws. We believe a man can have more than one wife. It's no sin, it's no burden. We believe in the heartfuls of the Messiah. We believe in keeping the Shabbat day behind the days. That's right. So if man wanted to work on the Sabbath, brother, you have a choice to do. Because your brothers use excuses, you know? Your brothers use excuses. You don't have to work. Who said so? Who said so? Do you give Christ the ability to help you? Do you say, okay, let me go and let this job and go pray and see what God is having store for me? So you bring you make what? Money become your God. That's right. Well, I'm working on no Sabbath in my So send all kind. So Yama, Aya, Ibima, Eddie. Am I a good radi moon? The poet, the Yuma, and then Lumina. I don't so soon as I say, but you may radi. I am my excuses with Bray, say. Yeah, for two and yeah, for two and they are two and yes, ah, and you're much the same. Yes, sir, your mind, and I don't go used to find say, on my chain. And that's on my boy, I don't want to say, woke up. 
until our best lady said, Oh, my to me, in the name of the Radi and Yako for Mana Samina Shabin, so set up a yard. You are the bit in your boy. They said, You are the giver, the moment than a mind, and I say, You jive with you, ma, have a bomb pipe with you, Radi Duma. Then they are shaped, you excuse to the sack. In a gym called Sania Shed, so that boy and I said, Or better than the Chiana. Amen. Everybody got it. So read 24 now. Verse 24. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other. So Christ is the one who mentioned it. Else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve two God. He cannot serve God and Momo. So you see that they hold one side and refuse on one. You understand? So why most brothers and sisters not here today? If it was work, they would be at work, right? That's right. Did they call you? No. Or you? No. The one that went to come and say? He didn't call me. It's Brother Benjamin. He called me that. We are having a, a meeting at work. So he will go there and he will I mean, just for the Okay. All right. So you see, so you're serving God and no man. Okay? You have to be God. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of what? God. And everything will do what? I don't know. So we have to seek the kingdom of God. Come? Come. Everybody agree? Yeah. Right? Read on. Verse 25. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought. For your for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on, is not the life more than meat, and the body that remains. So you see that. So don't worry about things like that. With everything, give the most I can see. You know in the scripture it said David was hungry and Raven was dropping food with David to him. So this is you going on a higher spiritual level now. Because you have to understand in a brothers. What's going to be for all this earth? A war is coming. You're not ready for the war, but guess what? Satan bringing this war to you. Say, I'm going to 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 say, I'm you understand me? So you will not take the white man vaccine. They use yours pause in Africa for years. Every vaccine they come in and they give it to you. So they're going to rebel against this one. They're going to stand up for something. When they come with a microchip, you will not take the white man microchip. So war is coming for you. So now that's why Christ said, don't worry about this stuff. Because if you think about the birds and the Holes of the air and everything, we'll provide for them. So he said, What he'll do, he'll provide for you. Get Revelation 12 and 12. The book of Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, ye which have it. Which one? Book of Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and he that dwell in them. Woe to the habitants of the earth. So the scripture said, Therefore rejoice, O ye heavens, and he that dwell in them. He said, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. What the word woe mean? Huh? Speak up. Destruction. Word woe, when you say woe in the Bible, you mean destruction. So you know what it said? Destruction to the inhabitants of earth. This is revelation. This is the last fight. So why the most I said destruction to the inhabitants of the earth? Why is destruction to the inhabitants of the earth? Read. And of the and of the sea. For the devil is the come, the devil, the, the devil is come down unto you 
having a great wrath. So no, destruction to the inhabitants of the earth because Satan is here. And Satan is here, he come with what? Great wrath. Satan come with great wrath. All what you have, get Revelation 6 and 1, sir. The book of Revelation 6 and 1. And I saw, and when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, in the noise of thunder, one of the four bees saying, Come and see. Verse 2. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on, on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. So this is Satan. Verse 3. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard a second bee say, Come and see. Verse 4. And, and there went out another horse that was right, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. So you see where the war is coming? The most I start letting all these spirits on the hurt no man to take peace away from the hurt. See that? So that's why you need not to be prepared. How are you going to deliver from this? You see, you think coronavirus was nothing? You don't know what God has put on for the circles. And sisters. But how the righteous going to deliver? Scriptures. Think about it. Go back to Revelation 12, verse 13. And I'll need a scripture to see how we're going to deliver from it. The book of Revelation 12 and 13. And when the dragon saw that he was cast down onto the earth. Because remember, this, this Satan is a demonic angel. The most I created him for that. But now we see that what? He's going to be destroyed. We see that we're going back in the dispensation of what? Righteousness and truth. So Satan be roaming from the from same believe, brothers. He be going on fine, but no, God say, okay, I'm gonna step in now and all falling must go. So you see that his time is up. What he went, what he trying to do. Read. And when the dragon, and when the dragon, sorry, sorry. because he know it that he had but a short time, verse 18, and when the dragon saw that he was cast down onto the earth. He persecuted the woman which brought forth the, the man child. And the woman is the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. And you know why they're persecuting the woman? Because if we come together, what happened? If we return, what happened? No, if we return, the earth gone back in what? Righteousness. We are the order, everything is over. So when we return back to our God, the earth will go back. Remember, when you read Revelation, we tell you. Even the animals can be addressed when we return. So that's why they try their best for us to be divided. When they read Psalms 83, they, they try their best to cut us off from being a nation. They try not. But when we come back together, what will happen? Satan knows his time is finished. So when Satan comes down, the destruction of the earth now is what? Satan comes to persecute him. But he might go deeper than that. Finish up at Revelation 12 and 14. 12 and 14. So he tell you, Satan might persecute the woman, which is the children of Israel. But he might be more specific which direct woman he was going after first. Now we're still in the four corners of the earth. Right? Read on. And to the woman were given to wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness. So now he tell you, when the woman see. The dragon coming. The woman fled to the wilderness. So the first set of Israelites that the same one go after is the one in Israel. Because you have to get them out the land. So when you see that now you have a short time you going to go in Israel and you going to go after the brothers and sisters in there, but the scripture said they're going to fled into the wilderness. Right? Read on. Where she is nourished for a time and a times. So the most I say when 
make the woman fled back into that wilderness where that woman will be nourished for a time and a time, right? Read on. And half a time from the, from the face of the serpent. So the woman can hide from the face of the serpent for three and a half years. Right? Read. Verse 15. And the serpent cast out of her, of his mouth, water as a flood after the woman. So he start to drop his bomb and all this stuff. He trying to find where they go. Trying to fire all these bombs and military. What is what happened? Right? Read. That he might cause her to be carried away by the flood. Read. Verse 16. And the earth helped the woman. How do you hurt the woman? Absorb the bombs and everything. You see how these same policy popping up all over Kenya and all over those places? And you drop the bomb and just went, get it, help me. Right? Read on. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the, the dragon cast out of his mouth. So read, read, read 17. Verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. So when the dragon couldn't catch that specific woman, what the dragon was doing? Was rough with the woman. He was angry and he was mad. And what he did after that? And went to make a war with the remnants of his of her seed. Went to make war with the rest of us. The rest of you. But let's see who. Read. Which keep the commandments of God. What? Which keep the commandments Not of God. The one that don't keep the commandments. He's going directly after the ones who keep the commandments. So that's why he started in Israel. Because the mere fact you go back to Israel, you know what you're doing. You command and keep it. So you cannot get those one day knowing when you go back in the four corners of the earth right? to make war with you. To do what? That keep his commandments. Read. And have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So you see that? That's so you part it. So you might be comfortable and you might just be living life more respectful. If you don't watch the times, watch the prophecy, God is bringing war and destruction to you. Right? You want to say it in the um, tree? You have a precept? Yeah, you have a scripture for that? Yes, sir. Psalms 1. Thank you, Lord. That's correct. Look, say, say what you say in the tree. That's the answer I want. Uh, son and your brother air coming. I say, I uh, hear yeah, uh, Revelation 13, verse 12. Yeah, you can't move. Open can in Jonah. I say, uh, in Jonah, can say, as a sifu, as a sifu, you mean, if you say, there are two more times to say, about a sifu. So then we focus here, if you say, the brother can move 80. And yeah, and then all you can come through this and say, yeah, yeah, you deal with each, you know, yes, you hear what you do. If you say the point to them or say, uh no mean can as a sou, if you say uh two year time can say the abas as a so and then the children move as taking the same. So I can say what you know about as a so and then drag one out. Ah, no come by no so or by no a Israel. Our person or best say Israel. Now can be fourteen and us in a year my bano uh and the baby so call yet dear. So um get them quite a selection. Maybe I yet just someone say young clone a bribe. Not in your feet or class in any. And see, I have a morphone a moon child is a so dragon a young morphone. A tie is a for so say I'm so who could use a phone. It's the beer, a moon could be a no more to use a phone. That's fifteen. I say, no, or Chasiano, a being a no attune to see you. Say or the minute or bar na as I see a be in a no on many in sure now to a seno at two yen. And then a year uh bow to our doa and the number phone two or measures new bombs in idea including eminent summers as na dinina go say as as who's we see when the tsunami see we be not a man sabons in a sad by a baby is up on one and cut of best number. Seventeen, as an advanced and I'm so as a son of war I'm a person in any brie ye, no, yes, so go to a year of barn so a barn no call phone care, I'm a macano susa. I'll be dear, but the man's son and I said, it's either a phone care or macano. And I try to say, a year, ah, no phone, only two years susa. 
Now, my three years, I said, Bible, I just saw one deal at the man, some suits, or more who Israel, or who Jerusalem. I could observe his feast days in the moons at home, or who deal at the man, some suits, or more statue was so. It's one. I must say, I must statue Israel, it's one of us, and so. And he answered, I have a name, I can't see you. And he, my age, the more to say, I hope you are seeing. About two, I am. If you are from Kaya, my comedy, I demand something as a son of a If you say, or say, or my as a fusso, or as a fusso, or moonbe, say, I told my town for Cassinade, Abbas, as he so. And till my town for our two of us, as he so, I am honor, my dear, I am for four, a plan is so many in the film. Persons, I would go on money in the film. Amen. Amen. Get that? All right, so for, to be delivered from that now, that's your scripture. Anybody have it? I say, uh, Bible say, the yin in the moon, yeah, you did a demand, some of the national. You never contribute for other gay things. I know in them. Now, we will a new quotation. I'll bet you that's what I said. And Bresson will go for no two on Burma and then on my Korea. Every day said, I think to tell you if I think you to tell a milk man. If I did not have a million. We will, I scripture you over to me, they are so for there. Precept to you also, any precept. X3. 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 That's our mission now. That's what we should be doing now. In the verge of repenting. Ask the forgiveness for our sins. We will enjoy the honor. Ah, a bit more put here, which is soon I'm going to jump on. Someone, ah, in time for no other moon, I'm going to be a bench soon. I'm going to be a different. We will enjoy the honor. Um, you, you, um, Emmanuel, find the scripture, Shark, find the scripture. So we need to read what you have. The book of Psalms 91. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the key. Right? Verse 5. Start up. Verse 1. Verse 1. The book of Psalm 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Mosah shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So you might know this. You remember what you just read in Matthew 6? Pray in secret. Do everything in secret. So the Moses I said, if you do well in this secret place, what do you say we'll do? You'll be under the shadow of the Almighty. He said, angel and camp it around those that fear the heavenly Father. So if you're not in the right position, you think the angel will come and encamp around you? In the book of Isaiah, I tell you that iniquity separated us from our God. That's right. Right? Read on. Verse 2. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom will I trust. So that's what we should say. The Musa is our refuge and our fortress, our strong power. If the Musa is the one building the fence, your fence will be weak. Hmm? That's right. If it's not your house, shall build the structure, the structure will be weak. Hmm? Right? Read on. Verse 3. Surely. He shall deliver thee from the snail of the flower. Follower. So in the most I said, surely. Sure, so it's a must. It's positive. The most I will deliver us from the snail. Really? And from the noisome pestilence. What's the noisome pestilence? The nukes, the bombs, all this stuff. So you see why when you read in Revelation 12, they tell you about the flood? The devil tried to use that in the hurt help us. So most I will deliver us for this. 
Right? Read on. And he shall cover thee with feathers, and upon his wings shall thou trust. So the angels will come and protect us from that. Thing. And the angels and wings is mighty brothers. The angels and wings is not fair, it's high looking fair. It's majestic. So it's near beauty to protect us now. You just make me to prove that man. Right? Read on. And his truth shall be as sh thy shield. So you see, you have to have the truth. The truth will be your shield. And you have to hold on to it. But the truth of the Mosai shall be your shield. Right? Read on. And Bakla. And Bakla the ring. That's right. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night. Read. No, for the arrow that flyeth by day. So we shall not be afraid. When you have the truth of the Most High, we will not be afraid. Right? Read on. Verse 6. Now the pestilence that worketh in darkness. You know what the pestilence is? Satan. Demons. Demons might come and walk in darkness. You shall not be afraid. When Christ was in the wilderness, was the pestilence of the attack in the man for part of the and Right, you know. Now for the destruction that's wasted at a new day. Really? Verse seven: A thousand shall fall at thy thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand side. But it shall not come near thee. So you see that. So a lot of people going back. You see, a thousand will be at your right hand, a thousand will be at your left hand, and ten thousand will be at your right hand. You might just see people drop dead. Now. Nothing wonderful. You might think this is a movie, but the most I will make this known unto you. Because this is facts. And this was what David, right? David said it. That David got there, David was killing people out more than he delivered. He overcome. Remember, we was the fears of all the people. That's right. So this, what David right here, he witnessed it, but he said, Why not to my children in the last days? Right? Read on. Verse 8. Only with thy eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. So you're going to see the reward of the reward is what? The payment. The judgment of the wicked. You're going to see. Read on. Verse 9. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is thy refuge, even the most high, that in habitation. Verse 10. There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come, plague come upon thy dwelling. So you see that? So he said, there shall be no evil before us, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. So you think coronavirus is something. Wait until you see what God has doing. But he said, truth is a buckler. Nothing will have come near your dwelling. And a lot of people don't have the truth. A lot of people don't believe the truth is their bottom. That's why you have other men out there telling you to go vaccinated. Where is your faith? Look what vaccination do to your children in Africa. We will not tell you to go that far, brothers. We will tell them that the most high truth be your shield and your pocket. Right? Read on. Verse, verse 10. There shall no evil before thee, neither shall there any plague come near thy dwellings. Verse 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. So you see that the Mosai said, My brother, they have the truth. Gabriel, you watch it. Raphael, you watch it. Michael, that's your job. You understand me? So all these individual who make the most I truth be their guide. The most I tell them and you have angels to take charge over them and protect them. 
right? Read on. Verse 11. How the scripture I'm reading? The book of Psalms 91 and 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Read. Verse 12. They shall bear thee up in thy arms, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. So the angel will protect you. Didn't Elijah, a chariot, come and take him? That's right. Look at what he did. That's right. Look at what Melchizedek. They said this man had no records. He was walking there. We have to go back into that consciousness. The reason you're not into that consciousness, you've been brainwashed so long. So you think when those th stuff happening, you have to white people. Now. If if those stuff didn't happen to white people, why white people be searching out the herd still for? Check records. You have a white Jesus come on earth helping poor white people, healing poor white people, treating white man who kill him. Honest question. If Jesus was white helping white people, would the Romans kill him and mock him, spit up in his face? I see you on the Yes, you to air blue Anna, or warm brofona, adding a brofona sankun. Who do you think that will happen, my brother? You just came in. You was by the camp last week? No. Okay. I just talked with him this week. If you think Jesus was white, right? Helping white people. Do you think white people would kill him? No. No. Look, a black messiah. Helping black people, healing black people, the Romans could not stand. All our black leaders, where are they today? Where are they? They're murdered, right? Who do? Who do? Black people. Who killed every last one of them? Gaddafi was helping Libya. Now that you said, listen man, let's invest the gold in our country. Let Africa come up with a gold currency, mm -hmm. get rid of the dollars. That's right. That's what that you said, where is he now? And you all just forget about it. You all don't know your day come. You all just want to live life. But God is bringing war to us as a nation. So you better make the truth be a buckle. Right? Finish up my brother. Verse 18. Thou shalt triumph upon lion and adder, the, the, the young lion and the dragon shall not trample under foot. Verse 14. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him, and I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. So you see, the name of God is important. That's right. Most I say because you love him, you will deliver him. And because you know his name, he's going to put you on high. Right? Read on. Verse 15. And he shall call upon me, and I will deliver, and I will answer him. So you see, when I read in Proverbs, you say you're going to call and he's not going to answer. That's right. But this one said, the one who have the truth as the buckler, he's going to call upon the most high. The most high said, what man happened? He's going to answer. Right? Read on. I will be with him in trouble. In what? In trouble. We are in trouble now as a nation. Read. I will deliver him and honor him. Read. Verse 16. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And that's what we all want. Huh? Come. Um, read Psalms 89 verse 15. Of it. The book of Psalms 89 and 15. Blessed is the people that know it, that know the joyful sound. So what's that joyful sound? She so said, Blessed is the people that know the joyful song. Read on. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. So we shall be representative of Christ. The one who know that joyful song, we shall be like Christ upon the earth. 
Scripture said man should see our work and glorify God by us. So we have to walk different. Can we do that? God, God. Can we be a different? Can we be a change? Yes. Can we be like the twelve disciples was, like the apostles was? We have to be that change. That's right. We look to the white man for that, and the white man is nothing more homosexual, man. That's he right. failed miserably. Our ancestors were looking to this white devil for 400 years, and we see that they cannot be the change. Because there's nothing in this Bible much up to them. That's right. But today, can we be that change? Yes. Do you re re ready to surrender your life unto the Messiah? God, God. Do you ready to praise the Lord God of Israel above all? Right? Read on. Verse 16. In thy name shall they rejoice all the day. So we're going to know the true servant going to know the most I mean. As I scripture tell in Jeremiah, the most I did nothing wrong with reveal his secrets unto his servants the prophets. That's why when Christ was talking, Christ came to parables to the people. Right? That's right. Then he bring the disciples and said, come, it's you to know this, not them. So today I'm telling you the most I reveal his secrets to his servants again. That's right. That's why we can hear telling you the secrets of the most. Right? Read on. And in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. Verse 17. For thou hast the glory of the strength, and in thy favor our horn shall be exalted. Verse 18 is a key. Read. Verse 18. For the Lord is our defense. The, who is our defense? The Lord is our defense. Always remember that. You're, walk, you're not walking alone again. You're not by yourself anymore. That's right. Always know you have a defense. This might be strange for some of you as the two new faces here today. You understand? But well, who are we? We are the children of Israel. When you read the Bible and you hear that Moses leaving Egypt, he was leaving with our ancestors. Right? And the Bible is our history book. The Bible is our key to go back to Zion. That's right. So read verse 18 again, my brother. The book of Psalms 8, 9, and 18. The Lord is our defense, and the Holy One of Israel is our king. So we have one king. One king. I know a lot of men want to be king. A lot of men want to be the high priest. A lot of men choose to be a bishop. A lot of men choose to be a general. But we have one, which is Christ, and Mashiach Yahweh. If he's not defense, the defense is going to be shaken. That's right. So can we praise Christ today? Can? Uh -huh. Can we praise Christ together? Yes. Can. Can. You understand? Be alive with him. Because we're in salvation right now. This is a time of salvation. Right? So do you have any question, my brother? But your view of question, yeah. You, do you know what's going on? Is this is Brother Ezekiel? You invite him, right? Yeah, Brother Isaac. Isaac. You invite him, right? So is this first time? So what what you know what is about? Unim. Yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have unim. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Because what we have to do, we have to come out Christian churches. We have to come out religion. So you feel religion, you feel Christian churches. Mm -hmm. I want to ask, is it bad to be a Christian? <laughs> is it bad? No, it's not. Because we are the true Christians. That Christian is a person who follows Christ. But the concept, what they build it upon, is bad. Because a Christian, they cannot be worshipping on Sundays. A Christian, they cannot be worshipping by Christ. You understand me? You don't understand I said he doesn't actually understand. It's not the English for saying New York. Okay. Read St. John 14, 15. The book of John 14, 15. Mm -hmm. 
the book of St. John 14, 15. If he love me, keep my commandments. Who's saying that? Christ. Christ. So Christ said, you have to sit back. You have to sit in front. You can't just give the Bible. So now Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Are Christians doing that? I'm asking you. So are they Christians? What are you just read? The book of John 14. Read 1514. 1547. Ye are my friends, and he do whatsoever I command you. No, read St. John 1514. 1514. That's what I read. Read it again. The book of St. John 15 and 14. Ye are my friends. If ye do whatsoever I command you, so he's a Christian church and Christ is friend. Now Christ said, read it in the tree, make you understand. As a Saudomia, John 14, 15, as a Saudomia, Dimashe de Asu, but Hanu H. I said, John 15, 14, I say, Moya, Madame, for, Madame, for if we say, was Moya, Madame, for, say, Moody. We didn't say Christians. But we remember Christian is somebody who follow Christ. So we want to see if the so-called Christians is following what Christ said. And read that in English again. John 15 and 14. Ye are my friends. If ye do whatsoever I command you. So whatever being, whatever Christ said, you do, you become his friends. Is this Christian church and Christ's friends? Is what the, what's going on in the world now in this Christian church? Are they friends of Christ? Get mm -hmm. St. John 17. The book of St. John 17 and 9. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The book of St. John, 17, verse 1. This word spoke Jesus and lifted up his eyes to the heaven and said, Father, the, honor, the, the hour is come. So that's his when he's going up now. Glorify thy son, and thy son also may glorify thee. So we can't say the same thing. The hour is come to deliver us. So it's time for the most high to glorify these people. And the God people might glorify that God in the earth. And the Christian church not in it. Read on. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. So you see that. So Christ get the privilege to give eternal life to as many, not everybody, as the most has given him. So let's see who eternal life when you go far. Read on. That's three. And this is and this eternal and this life eternal that they might know thee the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. So he said for you to get eternal life you have to know the most high. And you have to know a Mashiach. I just read that he is his friend we keep what he said, right? Read on. Verse 4. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou givest me to do. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. And, and now, O Lord, O Father, glorify me, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I had with thee from before the world was. Mm -hmm. So Christ was before the world created, from the beginning. He was the first angel to be created. Right? Read on. I have, verse 6, I have test, I have manifest thy name unto the man which thou givest me out of the world. So now the most I said, the Aosha said, Christ said, I have manifest the most I name to the man which the most I given me out of the world. Who was those men? Does the Christian church know that name? Does the Christian church know the most I mean? So that shows you that Christ wasn't talking to them. 
Read verse 6 again. Verse 6. I have manifest thy name unto the man which thou givest unto me. On, on, sorry, verse 6. I have manifest thy name unto the man which thou givest me out of the world. Thy they were, and thou givest them me. And they have kept my word. So you see, those men, you see, they kept the word. Those men kept whatever Christ said from that day until now. They kept it. We kept it. Right? We know? Verse 8. Verse 7. Now they have known that all things whatsoever hath thou hast given me are of thee. Verse 8, for I have given unto them the words which thou givest me, and they have received them. So you see that? Christ said, I give them the word, and they received it. Read. And have known surely that I came up from thee, and they believed that thou didst send me. Verse 9 is the key. Read on. I pray for them. I pray not of the word. For, for the world. So you see that. Can I say I pray for the elect, the man that you gave me. The people outside that circle. I'm not praying for them. So what do you have to say about that? Read verse 9 from the cover. The, the book of John 17 and 9. I pray for them. I pray not of the world. For the world. For the word, sorry. The book of John 17 and 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the word. Really? But for them which thou hast given me. For they are thy. Verse 10. And all thy are all mine are thine. And thy are mine. And I am glorified in them. So you see that? Read on. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. This specific thing, right? We know. I came to thee, Holy Father, keep through thy own name those whom thou had given me, mm -hmm. that they may be one as we are. So you see that? So it's only who the most ideal we can give the name will be one. Life, Christ and the most ideal. It's not all this rhetoric and madness is going on. And um, drop that. First Corinthians 10, 20, 21. First Corinthians 10, 20 to 21. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils. So you see what Paul said? Don't the church of the Gentiles? Don't the church of the Gentiles? So Paul said the things which the Gentiles, the word Gentiles mean heathens. Whatever they're doing there, they're doing it to who? To devils. Read. And not to God. And what? And not to God. Read. And I will not that he should have fellowship with devils. So you see that? You cannot have fellowship with devils. You cannot have fellowship with devils. So the mere fact they up in that Christian church serving white Jesus, they do. Right? All what you have, get on um, Psalms 94.20. Go to what you have, Psalms 94.20. The book of Psalms 94 and 20. The book of Psalms 94 verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? Stop. So he says, shall the throne, the throne leader. 
se fanno bruciare il cielo e il tipo di croce che ho visto vi siete in un po' di combinazione e vi leggete e teaching like everything is ok no read it from the top again the book of Psalms 94 verse 20 shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee read which they make mischief by a law you see that they create history they form it mystery by mystery by law shall we worship with those throne of iniquity you know much of our ancestors died to be so called Christians you know much of our ancestors dying to take up that sign give me sister Black people was the first people created in the clan. And it's embarrassing the black man don't have no religion. That's right. Where is the black man religion? No. Everything that we have was come from these devils here, man. John Simmet, Charles Caron, Joseph Simmet, Charles Taze Russell, William Miller, all of them was racist. See this? Get Proverbs 121, my brother. The book of Proverbs 1 and 21. She cried in the chief place of the court of the concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the street. She uttered a, a word saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? So you see that, that how long will ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Really? And the scorners delight in the scorning. So the scorners delight in the scorning. Jeremiah 5, 31. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, and 31. The prophets are we there? The book of Jeremiah 5 and 31. The prophets prophesy falsely. So the prophets, the teachers prophesy false lies. Really? And the priests bear rule by their means. So the priests bear rules by their means. They, they bear rules by their means. They teach their own personal obligation. Read. And my people l love to have it so. So what our people love to do? Love it so. Love fakeness. Our people don't love the truth. So when they talk about Christian, you have to be very specific. If it's these the founding father of your Christianity, are they called the disciples and Christians and me? So it's two. This madness we see going out there, if they don't repent, none of them will repent. Because this is what they're praising. Philosophy of man. That's From right. Mark 7, verse 7. The book of Mark 7 and 7. How be it in vain do they worship me? So this is what Christ said. How be it in vain do you worship me? Teaching for doctrines. Teaching for what? For doctrines. Read. The commandment of men. So that's what you are teaching. Man commandments. When the Bible said to love everybody. When the Bible said just go and marry anybody you choose to marry. When the Bible does it say, can we all get along? There is in this time now where we have to grow to our tops of it. We have to be the example. You know who you are. You are the children of God. You are, you've been knowing that for years. You are the children of your eyes. We cannot see nobody who is outside the sun. Done? Uh -huh. That's it.
that's it. You have more, right? Now. That's it. You sure? We have to answer your questions. I okay? see. Um, some of you might be fighting with certain things, but what we have to understand, brothers and sisters, yeah. you know the truth. You know as much as you know now than the Christian church for you then. Come? Come. With that, we say Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah. 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 Come. Yes, answer this question. What he was looking for. Actually, uh, I did some studies a couple of uh, months ago. I was teaching the cases in Deuteronomy 28 and 27. Mm -hmm. That he shall be called an astonishment of the with a bad word. So in Act 18 and 1, I was calling up. I bring that some example. And in Act 18 and 1, they that were in the church and they were setting up the teachers and went on up there. They were called niggas. Mm -hmm. And I was telling them that uh, it was uh, a derogatory term of mockery. They were mocking them. So that is where they had uh, the word Christian. So I gave him a research I did uh, previously on the word Christian. Uh, it, was a, it was a French Swiss word which was being transliterated to Greek Christian laws. Later transliterated to English Christian, and when you check the definition, it says alluding to the humanity of sad people. So that's why they are handicapped, offered, uh, offered, especially offered in the sense of poor favor. So I, I, I told him the word Christian is in the Bible, but the Israelites never called themselves Christians. They weren't called Christians. So I, I pulled up the precept in mind to 23 and 8 that one is your master, and all ye are brethren. That is why any any letter Paul will address to the nation of Israel spread among the nation. Yeah, it was a nickname. Yeah, you mm -hmm. say brother, brother Paul, brother this. Yeah, Psalms 149. Last scripture. Psalms 149. Uh, what we are, um, the scripture says we're going to be following the name, which is Saints of God. But what we are, um, it will tell you. Psalms 149, verse 1. Psalm 149, verse 1. Psalm 149 verse 9 mm. verse 1 Praise ye the Lord Sing unto the Lord a new song So you see, praise the Lord Sing unto him a new song Right, read and praise, and praise in the congregation of saints Of who? Of saints So praise in the congregation They, they are saints Never so for saints So praise in the congregation of saints well, a bunch of saints here. Done? Okay. Um, Read. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. That's how the name will go by. Israel. Zion. Right? Read on. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with a tremble. Uh, the, the, the temple and the hip. Verse 4. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. That's true. Let's see what you mean. Read it. Verse 5. Let the same be joyful in glory. So you see, come again. You see what your name is. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Read it. Let them sing aloud upon the abyss. So the saints why sing aloud upon our bed, man. When we're going to the bed, we're talking about the yeah. When we rise up, we're talking about it. Read. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand. So even the saints have a two-edged sword. To do what? <laughs> Read on. Verse 7. To execute vengeance upon the heathens. Heathens, meaning the nations. So you see the saints have forged sword to execute vengeance upon the heathens. Read. And punishment upon the people. Upon the nations. Read. To bind the Achaeans with chains and the nobles with fetus of 
iron. Verse 9, to execute or condemn the judgment written. This Hannah have all his saints. Praise he the Lord. So you see what the saints do. So the saints, Zion, sons of God, Israel, who was never called this. That's a nickname, that's a matter. Huh? Um. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, I am morning classes. Yeah, yeah.